So this is the latest version of my Lazy Kate that I've been working on. This is 3D printed, but I'm considering making an injection molded version, which would make it a little stronger, would make the surface a lot nicer and reduce the cost. So if I do that, they'd probably be in the price range of eight or nine dollars. And I had a couple of questions that I wanted to ask you folks um, before I do that, because it is a big commitment in cost of tooling and how long it takes to make them and also you need to make a large batch of them. So I wanna get everything right. So if you guys could watch this video and then go fill out the survey, which has been linked to in the show notes, that would be super helpful. So the first thing I wanted to show is, I've shown this on other versions, but they have this interlocking design. Um, so the idea is that you can string together a whole bunch of lazy cates, you know. A lot of people need two or three, but if somebody's doing, you know, eight ply yarn, you could get eight of these and it would be supported um, sort of modularly. Uh, another improvement on this version is that um, I've uh, made them so that the uh, posts here are separate and they screw in. That makes it a lot easier to travel. I also point out that the bases on this version stack together like this, and that's pretty cool. So they'll take up even less space when you're traveling. So another thing I wanted to point out on this version is these little keyhole slots. So those are so you can put a screw in there and sort of lock these down onto a surface. So if I had two screws placed here, I'd put it in and then slide it and it would be locked into place. And the idea there is some people want these to be mounted more permanently into a place or have more weight on the bottom. And this allows you to do that. You can even use that with them when they're um, connected together. So here you'd have four screws and you'd go and sort of lock them into place like that. Another thing I'm gonna show is that I've got these elastic bands and these can be used as sort of a, a breaking system. So I have four of these slots here, but you're only ever gonna use two. I just put four on there to make it easier to stack them. And uh, this way you'll have like a slot if you wanna string your yarn into a slot after using two of them as a break on a bobbin. So the way these work is you just put your bobbin on and you put it in and then you pull it tight like this and now it won't spin as easily. So you've kind of got a braking system. Whereas if you don't have this attached, it springs sort of freely. So you've got two of these here. So the last thing I wanted to show you is something that I'm calling a yarn ball spike. And this is basically a, bite, a little spike that you put through a ball of yarn. And you just slide it on like that. And this ball of yarn was made on a thing called a ballizer. Uh, it's basically a little crank machine that makes up balls of yarn very easily. And the idea here is that you could then put this spike onto the Lazy Kate and um, it's easy to sort of knit directly from one of these balls of yarn and it just sort of unwinds as you pull, as you pull it and as needed. So it kind of keeps your ball of yarn where you want it. Another thing that does this is uh, something called a yarn bowl, which is something else you could look up. Um, so I'm kind of interested of whether this is useful. I could, I can redesign this. So right now I have three millimeter thick walls and I can make that as thin as one millimeter. So that'll make the spike a little bit thinner, but it's still not gonna be super thin. So I kind of um, would like people who've used these kinds of tools before to sort of comment on whether they'd like um, to have this kind of a thing included in the late with the lazy kate it would add maybe a dollar or so to each lazy kate and I, it's not something i want to sell separately so if i do include it it would be included with every lazy kate i'm kind of wondering if adding this is worth a um, dollar to people yeah please fill out the survey that'll be super helpful thanks for watching